level two of the AI and KM relationship. In the last video, we showed how AI would address the problem of old KM, namely finding and analyzing explicit data often contained in multiple media formats, from reports to videos. This process we called level one of the AI and KM relationship. In this video, we go up a level and we see how AI begins to address the hard problem of KM, namely the now accepted reality that 80% of what an employee knows about their job is in their heads, tacit knowledge, and only 20% of it is codified, explicit knowledge. So to be clear, level two is where AI starts to focus on tacit knowledge, a big win for organizations. The easiest way to get our heads around this level is to think about the contemporary techniques used by modern knowledge managers to capture tacit knowledge today. Here we are referring to KM tools and techniques like communities of practice, often called the silver bullet for KM, because in communities of practice, the members can share their tacit knowledge in forums, blogs, discussion threads, etc thereby converting their tacit insights and experience into explicit forms available to all. Well, that's the theory of communities of practice. However, the sad truth is that only 20% of COPs succeed. There are several reasons why communities of practice fail, but at the top of the list is the inability to provide compelling, relevant content over a long period of time. This is the daily concern and indeed what keeps every elite community manager awake at night. How to create sustained user adoption. Okay, now let's consider a state of play where AI is also a community member, reading and analyzing the discussions and requests from the humans in the community of practice, and then creating a near real time content for the community to consume and also to interact with, ask questions, request more information, request analysis, etc. Here comes another paradigm shift. Suddenly the community of practice is the best place in town to get the latest and greatest content on a regular non-stop basis with little or no effort from human community members. The more people share their tacit knowledge and experience in the community of practice, the more AI generates relevant content, which in turn invites more sharing of tacit knowledge, insight and experience. Just imagine a community of practice where company client executives are sharing their stories and experiences from recent client meetings. And AI is using that tacit knowledge to generate more content on the client, the competitor, the marketplace, etc. In an instance, the entire user experience in a community of practice is transformed. For the community manager, they now have a new best friend, a tool with the powers to effortlessly generate as much or as little content in whatever form they like to delight their community members. In this world, AI has empowered the community manager to stop worrying about content creation and shift their skills to content evaluation and presentation mode. The role of the community manager as the knowledge overseer for their community of practice is now completely different. And the good news doesn't stop there. As with all truly transformative technologies, they begin to deliver a veritable whirlwind of change. Just think of the mobile phone today. Hardly used for voice at all, it now holds your entire life support system. Social life, health, wealth, family communications, navigation, keys, commerce, banking, identity, memories, plans, and on and on it goes. Take someone's mobile phone away from them today and you can count the minutes until they start to become anxious and agitated and are unable to perform their normal tasks. Well, this is the same with AI, but on a much grander, more enterprise-wide scale. Let's explore this further. Once AI joins the community of practice and is under the stewardship of a competent community manager, it can start to address the things that keep business leaders up at night, like risk management and quality control. All members will see and discuss the AI-generated content until official versions are agreed upon 
by whatever protocol leaders feel is appropriate. In this way, third parties like clients and suppliers are all getting the same high quality, consistent messaging and information. This is something that is very difficult and challenging for most organizations to deliver today. It is time consuming and hard to monitor without sacrificing individual creativity and innovation at the altar of prescriptive top-down management, something that no leader wants to do or can afford to do today, where future-proofing the organization through reinvention is the top business priority. AI, when managed correctly, solves this problem and becomes a must-have for organizations. No wonder then that big consultancies like PwC, EY, Accenture, just to mention a few, are all investing upwards of $1 billion in AI. But hey, the good news with this level two of the AI and KM relationship doesn't stop there. AI, the gift that keeps on giving. As we know, KM has always struggled with unstructured data like emails and chat. Now, AI can read and analyze content in both of these platforms. However, current Western legislation around data privacy forbids it from doing so for emails. And it is debatable whether employees would happily continue to use chat if they knew AI was reading and analyzing their online water cooler moments. However, the unstructured data held in communities of practice, those threads and chats, etc., are fair game, as people are opting in with a community of practice to share their insights. And so the much desired end of email by all right thinking knowledge managers is brought a little bit closer with AI when applied to organizational collaborative spaces. Now, spotting talent, identifying people who share the most, others who have the best new ideas, those driving necessary culture shifts to future-proof the organization, those with the best client experiences, all of these things become a reality. Of course, the role of the knowledge manager in bringing order and structure to this revolution in the way that we work is mission critical. As we will see in the final video of this series, when the relationship between AI and KM goes to level three, transformation on a scale hitherto unimaginable becomes the new norm. So take a deep breath and see you in the next video.